Hello everyone, it's Julie at Craft So Cute and welcome back. I am um, glad that you came in to uh, watch me do the third and the final page for my steampunk journal of the My Fair Lady steampunk journal. And I have laid down here a floral stencil and I wanted this page, which might end up being the first page once I put everything in the journal. Uh, because at the beginning of the movie, My Fair Lady, Eliza was a flower girl and she would <clears throat> prep her little flower bouquets and put it in her little basket and walk around and sell her flowers. So this will be um, sort of that, uh, the storyline about where she began. Um, so I put this down, but I'm going to take it off and that's because, well, let me show you first, right in through here in this empty space and along in this space and here on these spaces here and over here, I took out I'm going to be using a culmination of stamp uh, stencils and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this main one off but I'm going to use the honeycomb stencil by Tim Holtz. I'm going to use that stencil and stencil just a little here, a little there and over here and then I mean, just in little spots, like little fading spots around here. And then on top of that, I am going to, I think I'm going to come in, I don't know if I want to do these numbers. Since I did this predominantly in the last one, I think I'm going to skip this. So I'm going to put it away so it doesn't tempt me to use it. <clears throat> hmm. Well, maybe not. I'm just going to leave it out because I something is tickling my brain about something. Okay, so I'm going to use these little ones here and put letters, you know, some letters here and maybe some numbers off of here. A little yeah so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this one since there's numbers on this I'll use it so this will be my background this is gonna be the foundation here and then I'm going to going to put some cogs on top of it I'm gonna be layering it on top of each other and you know put the first layer dry it and then I'm going to set put these cogs these gears in little inconspicuous spots um, and then let me move this up here so it's out of the way and then I will place this on top once everything is dried underneath and I'm going to go ahead and apply it so this this layer on top of every layer so that way you can see fades of the honeycomb and the numbers and the cogs and the gears and then this is going to pop up even further it's going to stand up and then i will come in and place this bird somewhere i think not quite sure about that yet so i might come in and place let me show you let me get this out of the way come in and place this bird somewhere it could be part of him somewhere flying in so <clears throat> that's the next this is the next the making of the next or the third and final mixed media page I'm gonna keep these tapes aside so I'll use it okay so here we go here we go here we go got my little spatula Let's see, I've got my 
wet wipe nearby um, to clean off my stencil. Let's see, what else am I going to need? Huh. And here's the golden. I <clears throat> posted on my Facebook page uh, because this morning, by accident, I stumbled upon um, Tim Holtz on YouTube. And he was going over texture and pace and mediums and that like there's texture grit and then there's just regular texture paste and then there's media there's like a few of them that he has of the texture and then on the mediums and that each one of them <coughs> excuse me once applied and dried and then colored are they just gives off different um images texture images i guess it, for lack of better words i think that might be um what it is it just it gives it different looks and and texture <laughs> um i'm so sorry that i'm fumbling right now uh i've got my mind is racing with all different things so let me just slow my mind down really quick so while I have purchased Tim Holtz multi -mat, uh, multimedia mat it's a small jar and I've only used this a few times and I'm almost empty it's almost it's almost empty and while I love his products I'm going to probably more than likely go with the golden <clears throat> and the Liquitex. And the only reason why I started off with this eight ounce um, light molding paste, that's because I wasn't sure about this product. So I didn't want to buy something large and then not use it and then wait, you know, just waste that product. So Tim Holtz gives you knowledge about. Um, each type of um, what would you call this emollients and how what they're used for how it works and that um, that way you can apply that knowledge take it and go and look at the Liquitex line and the golden line and buy the same type of texture paint um, texture products and medium products that will do the same exact thing as the Tim Holtz, but then you'll be able to get it in larger quantities. So, so yeah, Golden and Liquitex, because they have them in big bulk and, and it's less expensive. Um, yeah, that's the better way to go. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So I'm gonna start off with the honeycomb. Okay. I'm gonna go start off with this. keep this covered because I've got my ceiling fan on and while I can lay it just like this the stencil I'm going to come off the page a little bit because I don't want to border now I co I'm covering this because I I'm learning that I don't finish my sentences because I've got the ceiling fan and it'll dry out the product so I'm going to cover it as we work and uncover it when I need to reach in for some more uh, that might be a bit too much okay because remember I'm just when I'm looking at the stencil excuse me I'm remembering the space and the area that I need to apply this coverage oh, that lifted oh man hopefully that didn't just foobar my page okay I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up nope it's perfect and then these little rises that you see here oh, these little rises right here that you see I'm just gonna 
fade that out because it adds extra wonderful texture to your artwork. So I'm going to fade this this edge out like just like that into the <clears throat> even though you can't see it right now once you start applying your paints and and things like that it you will be able to see let's see I am going to do I want to fade some more of that out yes just like that I'm just gonna fade it out just like that and then apply what's on my brush just around here to give it some extra Oop, there's a little piece here let me get that it's a dried little piece <clears throat> and then so I'm gonna bring this down here like that and grab just a bit more and then just and spread that out a bit just like that okay so there's that and then looking at I'm going to put my stencil down here so we can refer to it okay so I've made my coverage here which is this corner and then I need to come in through here which is going to be up in this area right in here so I'm gonna put my stencil down like so referring to my stencil here grab some more paste So I have this section here and that would be right there. I'm just gonna oh, I need to get some more here. I suppose I should just turn off my fan because I seriously don't want to. dry out my paste okay I need a little more <coughs> and there's that let me cover this real quick set that there how I'm working this I've got and I want to just fade it out a bit I'm gonna fade this out just like that just bring it out and fade bring this fade into this corner just like so there we go and put this back in here Okay, and let's see where else do I want to go with this so here's that part and now I'm looking at something down here so I'm just gonna go like this goodness I just 
think I kind of ruined that part of this here. My knife went under there. Let's see. I think that's going to be okay though, all right? All right. Let me wipe some of this off. I'm going to fade this forward like so. Like that. And bring some of this paste in there to dry. So there we go with that. And then I'm going to clean off my stencil. Set this aside right there. I should have put my green mat out, right? Because when I use this mat, clean off the spatula. Get a napkin. Paper towel. And clean this off before it runs. The stencil. Let's do that real quick. Wipe that off real quick. And I think we're good to go. Nope, not quite. There we go. Oh, where's my trash can? Oh. Well, I would put it behind me. I don't know why I would have it behind me. Okay, trying to work fast here so that this does not get ruined. Yeah. Oh, and the trick, when I mentioned on my Facebook page, hand sanitizer. I was trying to find my hand sanitizer that I keep in here because he said the hand sanitizer, when you're wanting to clean off your stencils and stuff, works or even when you've used embossing your embossing powder and once it's embossed and and you got some um, product of paint or you know ink it the hand sanitizer helps lift it off of your your tools your stencils and things yeah there's some that's like starting to it was dried up a little bit okay so there's that <clears throat> wipe this off and then keep this over here to my left for use and then bring this back let's get my other stencil out from underneath this mat i'm gonna keep this mat here should have already have done that i'm gonna keep this stencil here for reference move my mat in place and then i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna take I'm going to dry this up, this layer first, and I'll be right back. Okay, I dried it up a little bit, but I'm not going to apply too much heat because what I've learned from his products in his little, his tutorial on the texture paste and mediums is that if you apply too much heat on here and the heat gun that I have here would cause this medium to bubble okay so in his tutorial he has two heat guns the one that i just showed you and then another one that looks like a little hair dryer but he said the one that looks like the hair dryer he uses to heat to dry texture paints and mediums instead of the other one because he said the other one projects because it's got a smaller hole that it it streams out hotter air and it was he says it's best for using it when you're using your embossing powders and so he uses the other one while it's not s such direct heat it's indirect so it just it the heat is just emanating you know flowing out evenly but it's applying the heat heat enough so where it's not going to ruin your texture um pastes and medians and what was interesting is when he was talking about the like the texture grit because it's a different paste and this one which is called the texture grit if you applied the heat it, he even showed it that it starts to bubble up at like a balloon and then it'll and then it'll deflate 
So he said in, with the texture grit, you have to completely let allow it to dry before you apply any heat. And what's really cool is that he, when he laid the texture grit down, he then, while the it was still wet, he put his embossing powder on there and then he set it aside and let it dry. And once it was dry, the then he brought in his heat gun, which is for embossing, and applied it to the texture grit and it just embossed the image. How cool was that? Who knew? Right? So it's awesome. You guys got to tune into it. I put the um his youtube on my facebook page so if you want to go to my facebook page check it out it is awesome okay so now i'm going to use these little letterings and i know that here are my flowers right here's my flowers and i'm just going to put the letters down okay i'm just going to put these down all over and then that way when I go to apply this last major layer, the flowers and stuff are gonna co cover some of the letters, but not all of the letters. So in that way, it looks like it's just faded into the background. Um, so Tim Holtz didn't say anything about that in the thing, but I, this is where my crafty head goes, where I'm listening to tutorials, I'm thinking, well, you know what if I dry each layer and then put a main one down the texture pay the texture um, paste is going to cover some of my work which I want but then allow the the main feature which is this to stand out uh, I'm hoping keep your fingers crossed this is where my head's going uh, <laughs> let's hope it works right but as I'm sitting there watching him but okay, I gotta dry all this things. I want, I want layer upon layer, and I want background about upon background. So when we go to use our metallic paints and stuff, it's gonna look so cool. Okay, so here we go. Here we go again. So let me zoom you in, show you what I'm doing. Here we go. So let me scrape off some stuff here some paste little at a time little at a time because these are tiny little letterings okay let me bring this in closer to me so while I am covering a lot of the space in here trust me once the on my head my head thinking once the flower one is done it'll be okay it'll be so let's just And he even shows you how to use your paste so that you press and scrape, press and scrape, press down and scrape. That way your stencil, press down and scrape, press down and scrape, and scrape, press down and scrape, press down and scrape. Uh-oh, that's my phone. Hang on. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. And I had to, that was my daughter. She's going to come by real quick. And I had to remove this because I couldn't leave it there while talking to her. Otherwise, my probably my stencil would get stuck to this project. Now, I wanted to show you. Check it out. See how I think my head, my head thing that's going, my gears... And cogs that have been moving since I've watched Tim Holtz is coming out perfect. Look, check it out. I dried the bottom layer and then I applied this next one and I got the letters going here. And then the letters set right on top of the bottom layer. Check it out. Is that pretty awesome or what? OMG, that is so cool. Okay. So I am going to pause this video again because I want to dry this layer up. Just apply a little bit of heat just so it's a little, you know, um, more stable. So that when I go to put my stencils down again, 
it won't this won't rub off okay so I'm gonna pause I'll be right back okay so it's sort of semi drying so here's my space right here that I'm now wanting some lettering so I'm wanting the letters to go here and then kind of fan out here and then come down and then I'm going to put some just right in here you know oh there goes my alarm I'm so sorry I'm gonna pause again my daughter's arrived I'll be right back oh I'm back and I know that you guys won't uh, won't be able to feel the time lapse it was quite a while um, since I had paused the video because my daughter came and and then she grabbed a bite to eat and then she's headed out now and so this is where we were when we left off and look at how wonderful that's looking and see I love how this lay the lettering sat on top of the the bottom layer so I'm going to work in this corner here so I'm going to set this I'm going to I want to bring that A up in here or actually let me do some let me do some numbers do I want to go sideways yeah how about that let's do that and I'm going to kind of follow it along in through here. So let's get that 12 up there. Let's do that. Texture paste. Ready. And I like this light molding paste. Um, instead of the heavy. Because this allows you to bend your board and it doesn't crack and peel off that's what i learned that knowledge from tim holtz that it when it's water soluble water based it allows it to be pliable so when you bend your board if you're using it on tags and stuff when you bend it it won't chip off and break like just plain heavy um texture paste unless it that heavy texture paste is water soluble so I'm going to press it down, press it down, and then scrape, press it down, and scrape, press it down and scrape, and I'm going to lift it up, and that's what that looks like there, and then I want to scrape some of this off on top so this doesn't come through. Okay, just kind of wiping some of this off a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to hold this in place. Let me get some more paste. A little too much there. So I'm now going to press this down and fade it out. Fade that out like so. And then lift. There we go. And let me scrape some of this off again. there clean off this just real quick while everything is still wet cleaning off this okay yikes there's quite a bit of it right there unless that's a piece of tissue it is Okay. Need another napkin here. Let me set this up here. Oops. Like, yeah, with the ceiling fan, like I was saying, it's drying this up pretty fast. Excuse me. 
I just burped. <laughs> I drank a little bit of soda that my daughter could not finish. So I finished it. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay. Set this aside. And I want to look at this real quick. And... All right, so let's get some over here. And I know this layer right over here is dry. So I'm going to go take whatever I have left. Well, just a tad bit more. No, that's even too much. Okay. And then, oops. Like this. Press down. I lift that up. Okay. So that's where I want to go with that. That bit. And then I'm going to let it dry. And clean off this. Actually, let's see. I'm going to apply some of this leftover medium that I have on my brush, on my spatula, so I don't waste it. Let me fade that out. And that just adds some extra, so I'm not wasting any of this paint. I'm just kind of spreading it out and applying it down on the page, because that's going to look really beautiful once you start um, applying your, your paints. Okay, special clean, clean up stencil. Okay. Hey, don't break I'm bending the little letters and numbers, so I'm having to be very careful. softer and that's clean okay let's some uh, stencil down and I'm going to pause this and I'm going to dry this because I'm now the next stencil I'm going to apply is the cogs. Okay, and I'm going to put some cogs and gears over here on this side, over here, and then maybe here in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to pause you again. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. I'm going to turn this around, and even though I know that it's it's setting pretty good. It's not quite set, so I'm going to work up in this corner up in here, okay? Let me see, where's my gears? So I'm going to put some gears up here. Let me see, I want to stay in frame. I've got you zoomed in, but I want to, I'm going to work up in this corner. So I'm thinking about putting this gear up here. And now I have to be very careful. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tape it off with some washi tape. Just... very lightly so that doesn't get messed up okay so this is what I want to use up here so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring that up just like that okay Enough or 
too much. Okay. Here we go. Okay, as Tim Holt says, press down and spread. Press down and spread. Press down. Press down. I think I just messed this cog up over here. Moment of truth, people. Moment of truth. Here we go. Somewhat, kind of, but no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. What I'm gonna do? Keep a wet wipe over that. Turn this around. If all else fails, we're just gonna scrape this off for one thing, and then. do some doctoring okay well no I guess that's gonna stay just the way it is but I'm gonna spread that out take some of that off of there so that cog can be a little more visible Excuse me. Doctor, doctor, need some doctoring, and that's what we're going to do just like that. And I don't care if it's kind of poofy right in there because that's going to look amazing when your paints go down <coughs> oh, oh my throat got a little scratchy there hold that up let's see so the gears and cogs it's kind of messy but you know what it's okay because that's what's going to make it really awesome looking. Let's add some of this paste over here. Mm-hmm. Let me see. What can I use? Okay. Just going to clean that up a bit. See how that's looking? Making it a little more defined by pushing the medium. There, now it looks more like a cog. Okay, oops, that was off camera. Okay, so now I'm going to lift this tape up very carefully, like so. Okay, toss that one away. If it will come off my fingers, okay. Let's 
see. Let's go back up here. Let's see. See that? There's that gear and cog. Yeah, it might look a little messy, but it's going to look awesome. Remember, all those little texture things right here, I'm going to fade this one out a bit. Okay. See that? Okay. So now I think this is a little dry here. And I'm going to apply the next of the gear. Which one to use? Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking this one up here. looking at this here I'm looking at this I'm wanting this part of the stencil I want this to come up so as I'm looking how these came out I'm gonna want this area right here see that cog kind of looks like a flower so that was this one okay so I'm gonna lay this over here like so and let's see how that comes out tape 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 okay I'm gonna have to come up here Ooh. just like so help tape that down tape this down I'll show you what I'm taping down taped it down here to hold it in place for me and I'm gonna tape this down over here to hold it in place okay my concern is keeping this gear down, holding it, so so it doesn't screw up like in this corner, which is okay. But I really don't want to be cleaning it up, so I have to be very careful. To keep that down. Okay, so I'm going to apply the gesso. the just so and I know you just saw me scrape it off the board a little bit that's what I want fade it out paste and let's see what we have accomplished here okay 
So even though I'm going to zoom in and show you something before this dries up. Okay, I got this chunk of a mess right here and I fade this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking this and I'm just going to smooth it out like so because just those little bits right there is going to bring up this I'm going to cover this so it doesn't dry out with my wet wipe and then perhaps do a little bit of finagling again like I did up here now see that I just want to kind of clean up just a little bit around the circle here around the cogs just like so you see that what I'm doing it's looking like a flower which one I wanted and flatten that down because I'm not getting rid of those little pieces because I think it's cool um, I think I'm gonna go like this but then again you know what Tim Holtz said let me show you if you're watching that video, you should watch it because it's water soluble. You can wipe it up. You can mop this up. Check it out and bring these letters that you've put down back to life. So I'm now applying his technique. See, just kind of wipe it away and bring those little letters underneath back to back to surface. Need another one. Here we go. See what I just did? I just brought those letters back up by just wiping it away, and then I'm going to take this because I bundle, push this up. I'm just going to take this and scrape it off with my spatula scrape around the letters to bring that zero back in or that's actually is that a zero or the letter O there let me show you see yeah I think that's pretty amazing and I suggest you know you go watching it even I don't know for some veteran um, crafters this might come in handy this information you may not know that you could just if you're using a water soluble media um, texture median then you can wipe it away put my tape off to the side here I'm gonna look at my cog and make sure that I cleaned it up while Tim's working on his stencils you know he just pops it into the um, a water bath and he has a little container with water but I can't do that because I still need to use the stencils and he's got stencils galore because he's Tim Holtz okay so now let's look cool effects cool effects right and hoping my idea 
of layering the last and final stencil on top of here actually works. <laughs> you know, it should. I'm banking on it. I'm trying to... I'm hoping. That's my hope. Okay. There we go. Looks like a layered mess, some might say, but you know, once you get that paint and all those little paints in between here and there, everything's going to start popping out. Okay. So, I've got gear here, here, and I think I may want to add, where's my stencil? This is the stencil. I am referring to. So, having a look at that, I'm thinking, okay, my flower, uh, my flower is going to be placed like, ooh, like this. I want it something like this. Or I might move it. I might move it around because this flower section is now sitting on top of this cog, but I might have this portion of the cog left, but not right in through here. Because <clears throat> this is what I'm wanting. See if you see that? That's where all the flowers are going to lay. So it's going to cover up part of my... It's gonna, well, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, it's going to cover up some of the cog, but not all of it. So now I am going to pause the video real quick and I am going to dry this up and set. Well, no, wait a minute. Hang on a sec. Hold on. Where my flower is. Yeah, I'm not going to put a cog here because that's where a flower head's going to lay. So I think that once I lay down this stenciling, I'm going to see where else I can lay another cog because I want to, I want to add another third cog. Set that aside and I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. And here it is. It's almost dry, but it's dry enough to add this layer. This is going to be the moment of truth, guys, to see if my, where my head was is actually going to work. So I'm thinking about setting the stencil like this. And let's see if you can see this. Let me bring you in closer and closer. If I press this down lightly, you're going to see where all my letters and stuff are going to be saved. These in here are not going to be. That is not going to be. And all of these won't be saved. It'll be covered up. This will be covered up. My cog right here is going to be saved. And then all these lettering and down here is going to be saved. <clears throat> so... I'm gonna lay it down and then let's let's just hope this this works okay so I'm gonna go for it just gonna go for it if all else fails start all over <laughs> right <laughs> or cut it up and use it for tags and stuff so I'm gonna try and secure this page down like Oop. Need to move this up. There we go. Now try and oh come on washi. Stay down. So I'm gonna work from up here all the way down to here. Because this wants to keep flapping up. Okay. Okay, so alright guys, this is gonna be the moment of truth, right? see if my idea works because if it works I've layered how many stencils 
one, one, two, three, and this is going to be the fourth one. All right, I'm going to bring my mat closer to me. Here we go, and you'll be able to take a look at this. Ah, here we go, here we go. Wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. Hey, cover my face. Okay. Tim Holt says press, 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 and scrape it, and scrape it, and scrape it. Scrape it. Press down, press down, press down and scrape. Press down, press down, press down, press down and scrape. Press down, press down and scrape. Press down. Press down, scrape, press down, press down, and scrape. Press down, and scrape. Press down, scrape, press down, scrape. Ugh. See, that one is just wanting to flap up. Press down and scrape. Press, press down and scrape. Okay. Getting to this part now. I'll hold this down right here. Press down. Press down, scrape, press down, and scrape, press down, see, that popped up on me, press down, press down, press down, Press down, scrape, press down, press down, press down, press down, press down, press down, and scrape, and scrape, press down, and scrape. All right, <clears throat> here it goes, here it goes, here we go, you guys, here we go. This is the moment of my truth and seeing if it's my little crafty head is working out. Whatever I have in my head, please, I'm hoping, please, 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 please. Please let it work. Please let it work. Please let it work. Lifting up very carefully. Voila. What do you think about that, you guys? Okay. That looks amazing. Okay. I gotta get a napkin. And I gotta go. And then I gotta clean this off because this is huge. Okay, so I have to clean this off right here with my wet wipe off the black spine, just like that. Now remember, this is water soluble. If I have to move, clean up anything on the on here, I'll be able to do it. But first, what I'm going to do is come in.
I'm going to try and fix this leaf right up in here. I'm just going to bring it. Let's do that. Take some of this and define the leaf a little bit more. Like so. Can you see that, you guys? There. See how I'm defining that leaf? Anywhere I think that's a little smudgy. Like there. And right here. Where else? Anywhere else? Right, right down below here. Define this petal just a little bit. I'm going to flatten this. I'm going to flatten it out. Just like so. Anywhere else? Yep, right up in here. Right here, right here along this, the flower stem. You just got to define it. Go this way, guys. Can you see me working? off camera aren't I okay let's take you back down so sorry I want to see I want you to that's too far away I want you to see me working on this stem right here where you can't really tell the stem right here and I'm Trying to scrape off a lot of this, if you could see, just using the fine point and scraping before it actually starts setting. See, there's a leaf right there. See how you can see the leaf now? You're, I mean the stem. I'm working on the stem right here. And I'm scraping some of that away. So see, just take us a little patience, right? This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. It's just over an hour, but I wanted you to see the results, the end result of our texture painting. Right? Laying down our texture. Now, can you see? Look, I'm going to zoom you in and I'm going to show you that I've just brought out that stem. This stem right here, right, right along here, was a little muddied, even though it's okay. And I just ruined, did I just ruin my flower right here? I did, did so now I gotta fix my petal by, I'm just gonna, fade that out because I I food barred my petal there still looks like a flower there so now to be careful not to press anything. <clears throat> see if I still have time to work with this. I do. So I'm defining the stem. Can you see it? 
I hope you can hear me. For one thing, when I'm concentrating, I, I tend to lower my voice. So I'm trying to speak a little bit louder. There. <clears throat> Okay, there's that stem fixed okay so look at that everyone now I've got to clean the, I'm gonna pause right here I'm gonna clean my stencil okay be right back okay I wanted to show you guys what I was doing cleaning off my stencil I usually keep a little water jug here and I put a lot of water on my little wet wipe okay and now this thing is just coming off because it's water soluble. Okay, but once it's dry, what Tim Holt said, it is set. You won't be able to do this, but while it's still in its early stages and if you put, wet it down, put a lot of water to this, it should just come right off. And that's what I did. I put a lot of water on my, <clears throat> because as I was fixing the layering, the texture paste was setting on my stencil and I don't want to, I don't want it to ruin so okay I think that's pretty good the paper towel and try this off so remember I was considering on putting the bird on here right I changed my mind <laughs> oh my goodness I'm ruining my bird stencil right here in the corner be careful when you're cutting cleaning your stencils I have found on any type of stencil if you don't you're not careful of those one little pieces those that piece like intricate piece that's not connected to it you can bend it and then that's what I've done and if you bend it too much it will just break it'll just break off let's see since I don't have a water bath like Tim Holtz does next to me I'm cleaning the majority of it off right here I think I did pretty good oh and that's why I love this mat <laughs> can dry it off okay oh, come on. I think for the most part holding it up to the light I got it probably wondering where I got the stencil if I have the packaging I'll let you know but usually I I don't keep the packaging okay I'm gonna set that stencil aside and that's done and let's go ahead and clean this up and I'm going to show you our end our finished Let's not finish completely finished, but I'm saying our finishing of our jet, our texturing, laying down our texture paste. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm looking for this back, black background so it will pick up what we've done. Okay oops upside down remember the panel of the picture is going to go here I'm not sure which one yet but this is what we've done we laid down the honeycomb in the distance and then the numbers which the alphabet letters sat on top of the honeycomb can you see that yep and then we laid down the cogs 
and see the flower is sitting next to the cog right here as you can see the layers can you see the layering here we go that is pretty cool right look at all those layers now the flowers and stuff are sitting on the numbers and the cogs so there's one two three four layers of texturing using the texture paste that's going to end up coming out so beautiful and I wanted to add the last um, cog element but I noticed I have it in threes there's one two and three mm -hmm. and I've got one two three four five flowers pretty cool right got my number five in there I've got my number five down here number three you know yeah so I hope you guys like this you guys I'm so glad that you stayed with me and I hope that you take out your texture paste and your stencils and do the same thing so I want to tell you peace and happy crafting and we'll see you back again for painting Bye.